Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CSX tutorial for the new Boston. Today we're going to be learning about anchor points. I just wanted to let you know that I pounded a Stacker 2 energy shot that I found at the dollar store for one dollar and it has me pretty wired. It says it has a as much caffeine as a cup of coffee in it and I'm feeling pretty good. I don't usually drink coffee I don't usually pound Red Bulls or Rockstars or anything like that, so it's got me feeling good. Hopefully I don't crash in like an hour, although I feel like it probably will since it's from the dollar store, but oh well, feel good now. So the anchor point is this little uh, reticle sniper scope looking icon right here in the middle, and let's see, it. You, it's there for for rotating around and scaling from and uh, moving your position based on that point and um, let's see I'll right now it's in the center of this object so it's going to scale and rotate around that point so watch this as you can see it's rotating around the on, around the point it's not rotating around the center of the chainsaw it's ro rotating around the point and also, if I try to scale from it, scale, it's going to scale from the center of it, there, which is uh, pretty, pretty eas easily understood. So you don't want, say you don't want your anchor point there, you want it to be over by the handle so you can move the chainsaw up and down so you can cut a piece of wood in half or something like that. Well, that's what I'm going to show you how to do is move the anchor point around today. So there's a few ways to do it. And um, let's go into our timeline panel here. And you press A for anchor point. And you can move it with, with these uh, sliders here. And you can see it keeps the anchor point in the center. Whoa, let's go. Get that, get on there. There we go. And and if you move it there to the side, then you can move your move your uh, chainsaw back there. You can see that the anchor point is now over here by the handle. I'll click rotate, and now you can see that the now it's going to rotate around the handle. Now I can like chop some wood in half or something like that. Zzz. <laughs> Told you I'm a little wired. So that's one way to move the anchor point. Let's go back to the anchor point down here in the timeline panel. And to reset it to the middle, you right click on it and hit reset. And your anchor point stays in the middle while the image, or in this case I'm using a vector, rotates or moves around the anchor point. Another way to move the anchor point is using the pan behind tool which is up here. It's this I don't even know what kind of shape it is. It's like a dotted line box with a bunch of arrows around the outside. That's the pan behind tool and either click on that or the hotkey for it is Y. Like that. Now you go over to the anchor point here and you can drag it And this way the anchor point moves, but you keep your image or or vector, whatever you're using, it could be video footage, it moves it to the, uh, around the uh, image. So it'll show, have the same effect. See? That's how you do that. I'm hitting Control Z just to get it back to the center. Now, um, there is another way that doesn't seem to be working on vectors. So, what I'll, I'll show you on a solid. So, I, I'm going to click Layer, New, Solid. I'm going to make this into a circle. I'm just naming it here. And I'll do this real quick for you guys. I'm just going to create a circle like that. I'll click off it so the mask doesn't show anymore. But now let's see if I try to rotate this circle it's gonna rotate around the anchor point which was in the center 
of the solid, but since I make, made a circle over here in the, in the corner, the anchor point's now in the middle. So you can use the other techniques that I showed you to move the anchor point, or you can double click, and it brings you to the layer uh, panel. And you can go down to this uh, view where it says masks, click on anchor point path, and you're still in your selection tool here. You see how that change it, the cursor changed? Get over that. And then you can put it right in the middle here. 